Hello guys, welcome back. Today we present you the most important current affairs questions of January 2024. This is the second part of it. Please do watch the first part. The link is in description. First question: Which state government has prohibited government offices from purchasing petrol and diesel vehicles from January 1st, 2024? The correct answer is option A, Himachal Pradesh. This decision has been taken to make Himachal Pradesh a clean and green energy state by March 31st, 2026. Question number 2. Who has been recently appointed as the chairman of the 16th Finance Commission? The correct answer is option C, Arvind Panagaria. Dr. Panagaria is an eminent economist who has served as the first vice chairman of Niti Aayog. He will now head the 16th Finance Commission, which will suggest a tax devolution formula between the center and states for five years starting 2026 27. Question number three The Lal Bahadur Shastri Institute of Technology for Women, which was recently in the news for launching its nano satellite called VSAT, is located in which city? The correct answer is option C, Tiruvananthapuram. VSAT is a 1.4 kg satellite designed and developed entirely by women, making it the first Indian satellite with this distinction. The purpose of VSAT is to study ultraviolet radiation and its impact. Question number 4. What is the daily payment limit for UPI transactions set by the National Payments Corporation of India starting from January 1st, 2024? The correct answer is option C, rupees 1 lakhs. The MPCI has set the daily payment limit for UPI transactions to a maximum of rupees 1 lakhs starting from January 1st, 2024. This state set a Guinness World Record in 2024 for the most number of people performing Surya Namaskar simultaneously at 108 venues. The correct answer is Option B, Gujarat. Gujarat set a Guinness World Record on the first day of 2024 for the largest number of people exceeding 50,000 performing Suri Namaskar simultaneously at 108 different venues. Question number 6. Which country recently imposed a ban on its citizens from travelling to Russia or Ukraine for employment? The correct answer is Option C, Nepal. Nepal's government has banned its citizens from going to Russia or Ukraine for employment, saying many have been recruited by the Russian army to fight in the conflict there. Question number 7. Which organizations were involved in the development of the humanoid robot Aloha? The correct answer is Option B, Google DeepMind and Stanford University. It is a humanoid robot that can be remotely operated by a user and perform autonomously by imitation learning. Question number 8. Which company is operating the Krishna Godavari Basin Deep Sea Project in the Bay of Bengal? The correct answer is Option D. Oil and Natural Gas Corporation Limited. The Krishna Godavari Basin it's a petroliferous basin on the east coast of India. The onshore part is 15,000 square kilometers and the offshore part is 25,000 square kilometers. The platform is owned 70% by Chapurji Panoji Oil and Gas and 30% by Malaysia's Bumi Armada. Question number 9. Langia Sora paintings, which recently got GI tag, belongs to which state? The correct answer is option B, Odisha. Langia Sora paintings, also known as acons or editals, are a unique style of wall mural art from Odisha. The art form belongs to the Langia Sora community, a particularly vulnerable tribal groups largely residing in the Raigada district. Question number 10. The term Operation Shadow Play that was recently in the news is related to which country?
the correct answer is option a china the investigation by the australian strategic policy institute uncovered an extensive youtube propaganda network dubbed operation shadow play comprising at least 30 channels promoting pro chinese viewpoints and criticism of the us question number 11 which state has recently introduced a comprehensive social welfare scheme named yogya shri The correct answer is option A, West Bengal. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee has recently launched the Yogeshri Social Welfare Scheme aimed at providing free training modules for scheduled caste and scheduled tribe students in the state. Question number 12. Defense Excellence DO is the flagship scheme of which ministry? The correct answer is option B, Ministry of Defense. The Innovations for Defence Excellence is gearing up to participate in the 10th edition of the Vibrant Gujarat Summit 2024. Its primary objective is to foster an innovation ecosystem in the defence and aerospace sector by collaborating with startups, innovators, MSMEs, incubators and academia. Question number 13. Einstein Probe, a new astronomical satellite, was recently launched by which country? The correct answer is option A, China. China recently launched the Einstein probe, an astronomical satellite developed by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, dedicated to time domain high energy astrophysics. Question number 14. Sri Mandir Parikarma project, recently in the news, aims to improve the administration of which temple? The correct answer is option A, Puri Jagannatha Temple. Odisha Chief Minister Navin Patnaik has inaugurated the Jagannatha Puri Heritage Corridor, part of the Sri Mandir Parikarma project on January 17th. The project focuses on improving amenities, security and traffic flow around the iconic Jagannatha Puri Temple. Question number 15. Ganga Sagar Mela, India's second largest fair after Kumbha Mela, is celebrated in which state of India? The correct answer is option B, West Bengal. Ganga Sagar Fair is celebrated every year on 14th or 15th January. This fair is held on the day of Makara Sankranti. This fair is celebrated at Sagar Dweep, where the river Ganges meets the Bay of Bengal. Question number 16. Krishna Raja Sagara Dam is a gravity dam located in which state? The correct answer is option A, Karnataka. The High Court of Karnataka has recently imposed a ban on all mining and quarrying activities within a 20 km radius of the historic Krishnaraja Sagara Dam in Mandya district. It is located below the confluence of the river Kaveri with its tributaries Emaoti and Lakshmanatirtha. Question number 17. Who sets the Bharat stage emission standards? The correct answer is option D, Central Pollution Control Board. The Central Pollution Control Board, under the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, sets the permissible pollution levels and timeline to implement an equivalent by vehicle makers. Question number 18. Recently, we state launched the My School My Pride campaign for education transformation. The correct answer is option A, Himachal Pradesh. The campaign is the part of the Apna Vidyalai program which aims to improve education in government schools and support student growth. And it also encourages retired teachers, professionals, housewives and other community members to volunteer as academic support mentors without pay. Question number 19. Lampreys, recently seen in the news, belongs to which of the following species? The correct answer is option B, fish. A recent study in California has identified two potential new lamprey fish species, adding to the group of boneless, jawless creatures that have existed for over 350 million years. Question number 20. Soraya satellite, 
which was seen in the news is launched by which country the correct answer is option a iran iran's revolutionary guards achieved a milestone by launching the soraya satellite into a record high orbit of 750 kilometers using the gam 100 carrier question number 21 bureau of police research and development that was recently in the news comes under which ministry the correct answer is option a ministry of home affairs established in 1970 under the ministry of home affairs bprd aims to address police needs and challenges it conducts research recommends solutions and stays updated on science and technology guys before we get into the further in this list please to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon question number 22 exercise cyclone recently in the news is conducted between which two countries the correct answer is option a india and egypt the second edition of exercise cyclone a joint special forces drill between india and egypt is taking place in anshas egypt from january 22nd to february 1st 2024 question number 23 scrub typhus recently seen in the news is an infectious disease caused by which of the following The correct answer is option A bacteria. A recent study in Tamil Nadu's Vellore reveals that a minimal increase in rainfall can escalate scrub typhus cases by 0.5 to 0.7%. Its symptoms include fever, headache, body ache, and in severe cases, respiratory distress, brain inflammation, and multi-organ failure leading to death. Question number 24. Where was the 14th All India Police Commando competition organized? The correct answer is option A, Visakhapatnam. The AAPCC is considered the top professional competition for police forces in India. The competition will feature 16 state police teams and 7 teams from central police agencies with over 750 commandos participating. The competition will cover five areas: navigation, skill test, planning, presentation, and physical activity. Question number twenty-five: Hercules, recently seen in the news, belongs to which one of the following species? The correct answer is option A: spider. Wildlife experts in Australia recently discovered the largest male specimen of the most venomous spider in the world. The arachnid named Hercules, which measured 7.9 cm, is the biggest male funnel web spider. Question number 26. Finances of Panchayat Raj Institutions report, recently seen in the news, is released by which institutions? The correct answer is option A, RBI. Recently the Reserve Bank of India released a report on finance of Panchayat Raj institutions for 2022-23 which presents an assessment of their finances and their role in India's socio-economic development. Question number 27 Recently which Indian company launched India's first artificial intelligence unicorn Kutrim The correct answer is option A Ola Crutrim Ola Group's AI firm becomes India's first AI unicorn securing 50 million dollars at a 1 billion dollar valuation in a recent funding round A unicorn is a privately held startup valued over 1 billion dollar symbolizing rarity and uniqueness Question number 28 Recently which player made history by hitting the fastest triple century in first class cricket The correct answer is option A Tanmay Agarwal. Agarwal scored 323 runs of 160 balls against Arunachal Pradesh in a Ranji Trophy group game. Agarwal's innings included 33 boundaries and 21 sixes. Question number 29. INS Sumitra, recently seen in the news, is what kind of vessel? The 
The correct answer is option A, patrol vessel. The Indian Navy's INS Sumitra, a Saryu class patrol vessel, rescued hijacked fishermen off Somalia's east coast. Commissioned in 2014, it's the last vessel of its class, constructed by Goa Shipyard. Question number 30. Who is the author of the recently launched book, Ek Samandar, Mere Andar? The correct answer is option A, Sanju Joshi. National Security Advisor Ajit Doval and Chief of Defense Staff General Anil Chauhan introduced the book Ek Samandar, Mere Andar. Penned by Sanju Joshi, Deputy CEO of Brahmos Aerospace. Guys, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe for more videos.